Malaria is a disease caused by parasites that invade the human red blood cells. Blood-sucking mosquitoes pass these parasites from person to person. Every year, millions of people are infected with malaria. More than 500,000 of those infected will die, the majority of children under the age of 5. Scientists want to understand why some people die from malaria, while other people are able to survive. Many important clues may be hidden in our family trees, in the genetic traits passed down through the generations. Some genetic traits are easy to see in the ways that we resemble our parents. For example, how tall people often have tall children. Other genetic traits are not easily seen including those that can help people to resist malaria. Genetic traits are hidden in a genetic code found inside the cells in our body. This genetic code is stored in our DNA, in an alphabet of four letters, A, T, G and C. From a blood sample, scientists can read a person's DNA. By comparing DNA from different people, scientists can identify differences and determine whether these differences correspond to specific genetic traits. Malaria Gen led a large study in eight African countries comparing the DNA from people with severe malaria and healthy individuals. We have discovered a genetic trait that can help people to resist malaria. This genetic trait is linked to how the malaria parasites invade our red blood cells. This newly discovered genetic trait also suggests an ancient diversity in our genetic code that can be traced back many thousands of years. In this time, the parasite's genetic code has also been changing, so it can hide from the human immune system and develop resistance to anti-malarial drugs. Changes like these in the genetic code are evidence of the intense competition between humans and parasites. Malaria Gen is studying the changes in both human and parasite DNA to help identify genetic markers that could inform malaria control measures.